ओम शांति टुडे इज 19 अगस्त 2022 मॉर्निंग मुरली ओम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन इसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव नाउ रिसीव द लाइट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बिगनिंग द मिडल एंड द एंड ऑफ द एंटायर वर्ल्ड Keep this knowledge in your intellects and remain constantly cheerful. Question: Which great fortune are your children making for yourselves, and how? Answer: By following Shri Mat, you claim the unlimited inheritance from the father for twenty-one births. By following Shri Mat, all your desires are fulfilled. This is your great fortune, your children. who go around the cycle of 84 births have now become brahmins and will later become deities you created an elevated fortune by conquering maya ravan with the power of your intellects yoga and with the power of knowledge it is in your intellects that you have come to the father to make your fortune that is to claim the status of lakshmi or narayan song i have come having a weekend my fortune om shanti this is god school here god speaks to the children the first line of the song is having a weekend my fortune i have come i have come to this godly school or this school of the unlimited father only one can be called god there aren't many gods the father of all souls is one this gathering here is that of a meeting between the one father and many souls it is of the ocean of knowledge and the rivers of knowledge an ocean of water cannot be called the ocean of knowledge the rivers of knowledge emerge from the ocean of knowledge and this is their meeting that is devotion and this is knowledge knowledge is called the day of brahma the golden and silver ages devotion is the night the copper and iron ages in the golden and silver ages there is salvation you have to go to that land of happiness only the one father grants salvation he is the bestower of salvation you are now receiving salvation that is you are changing from impure to pure from tamo pradhan you are becoming sato pradhan by studying raj yoga only when you have become sato pradhan will you go to heaven you will later change from sato pradhan to tamo pradhan this is the cycle bharat was heaven where there was the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan temples etc have been built to them even up to now they were definitely in heaven now it is the iron age in the golden age the emperor and empress as well as the subjects were pure the empress and emperor were called lakshmi and narayan in their childhood they were princess radhe and prince krishna nowadays people speak of krishna janmashtami why is it called ashtami on the 8th the essence of all the scriptures has been explained to you there is a picture showing brahma emerging from the navel of vishnu it isn't that vishnu sits here and explains the essence of the scriptures through brahma no the supreme father the supreme soul shiva comes from the supreme land and takes the support of the body of brahma and explains all the secrets people make so much effort to perform devotion but nothing is achieved through that that is why god says when your devotion is over i come because you are then in a state of total degradation in the golden and silver ages you claim your fortune of the kingdom you belong to the sun dynasty and the moon dynasty and you then continue to fall your intellects have to remember all of this your children have received the light of understanding the beginning the middle and the end of the world 
This light is not in the intellect of anyone else. You understand that Shiv Baba is the highest of all and that in the subtle reason there are Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. In the corporeal reason there is this human world, Jagat, Pita, world father and the Jagtamba, world mother are praised in the human world. Whereas only Brahma is shown in the subtle reason. They say to Brahma, salutations to the deity Brahma. Then they say, salutations to the deity Vishnu, who are Brahma and Saraswati here. There is great praise of Brahma. You are the daughters of Brahma, so Prajapita, father of people, must definitely also be here. He would not be in the subtle reason. The father has to give knowledge through Prajapita. Neither Vishnu nor Shankar can be called the ocean of knowledge. The father is known as Shri Shri. He is the most elevated of all. God, the highest on high, he creates creation. After the marriage of Shri Radhe to Shri Krishna, they become Empress Shri Lakshmi and Emperor Shri Narayan. It is their kingdom in the golden age. In the silver age, it is the kingdom of Ram and Sita. The golden age is called heaven and it is then reduced by 2 degrees. You come down from 16 salacious degrees to 14 salacious degrees. After that, it is the copper race and the path of devotion begins. The father now says, I send your children into salvation. Bharat was pure, so who made Bharat impure? It was Ravan. This is why I have to come cycle after cycle to purify the impure. You have come here to make your fortune. That is, to become the masters of the world. The father explains, keep it in your intellects that you were deities and that you have now become Brahmins and will again become deities. This is a game of somersault. First, there is the top knot and above that is Shiv Baba. Then the Brahmins are created, they are adopted. The fathers of those children are limited ones, whereas that is the unlimited one. Prajapita Brahma is called the great, great grandfather. He is praised at this conference is the time when Shiv Baba comes and adopts Brahma, Saraswati and your children. Baba is now purifying you once again. You understand that you have come once again to claim your inheritance from the father. We have been claiming it cycle after cycle. When the kingdom of Ravan begins, we begin to fall. That is, we change from pure to impure. It is now the kingdom of Ravan over the entire world. Everyone is experiencing sorrow. Everyone is in the cottage of sorrow. In the golden age, there is no question of sorrow. Today, it is Shri Krishna Janmashtami when it is said that Shri Krishna, the eighth child of Devki, took birth. Would Krishna take birth as an eighth child? Krishna takes birth in the golden age. He is first prince of paradise, but they have taken him into the copper race. So that it is a tall story, is it not? Your children now understand that his soul, Krishna, is now in his last birth and studying. In the golden age, the parents of Krishna do not have eight children. According to the drama, all of those scriptures are already fixed. The father now explains the essence of all the scriptures. God speaks, I teach you this knowledge. It is not a question of songs or verses, etc. This is a study. All the scriptures, etc. are the paraphernalia of the path of devotion. As soon as devotion begins, Somnath, the temple of Shri Baba, is built. To begin with, it is the unadulterated devotion of Shri Baba. This is Shri Baba's unadulterated knowledge through which you become pure. It is remembered. After devotion, there is disinterest. You have disinterest in this entire old world. The old world is definitely destroyed. Only then is the new one established. 
This is the same Mahabharat war that also took place a cycle ago. The missiles, the natural calamities and everything that took place previously will all take place again. Deities don't ever set foot in the impure world. People invoke Mahalakshmi. Every year they ask her for wealth. In that image, Lakshmi and Narayan are both shown together. Mahalakshmi is shown with four arms. She is worshipped at the time of Deepmala and the residents of Bharat back from her every year. Those are the two forms of Vishnu. People don't understand these things. At the moment, Prajapita Adi Dev and Chaktamba Adi Devi are here. Now, on the basis of Srimad, all of your desires are being fulfilled. You claim your fortune of the kingdom for 21 births. This Brahma is the corporeal father and Shri Baba is the incorporeal father. You receive your inheritance from him. He is the creator of heaven. You receive your inheritance for 21 births. Your fortune is so great. You also understand that those who have been around the cycle of 84 births are those who come here. They become Brahmins who later become deities. Whose birthday should you celebrate? With knowledge, you celebrate the birthdays of Lakshmi and Narayan. In their childhood, they are Radhe and Krishna. So, you must celebrate the birthdays of both. Why do they just celebrate Krishna's? They have taken Krishna into the copper rays. Radhe and Krishna come from separate homes. They to meet again. So, both their birthdays should be celebrated together. People don't really understand when Shri Krishna took birth. You now understand that Krishna took birth at the beginning of the golden age and that Radhe also took birth at the beginning of the golden age. There's a difference of two to four years. For you, the birth of Shiva is the most elevated, that's all. None but one Shri Baba is mine. You are now becoming deities. You are becoming Lakshmi and Narayan or Ram and Sita. It has been explained why Ram and Sita are called the warriors who belong to the moon dynasty. Those who fail go into the clan of the moon dynasty. This is a war with Maya. Your conquer Ravan on this battlefield. There is no battle between the Pandvas and the Korvas. You have to conquer Maya. The father says to souls, remember me alone and your sins will be absolved and you will conquer Maya. You have to conquer Maya with the power of your intellects, yoga and the power of knowledge. The ancient yoga of Bharat is very well known. You conquer Ravan with it and claim the kingdom of heaven. You have the greatest fortune. The main thing is that you have to remember the unlimited father and the inheritance to attain 21 births of constant happiness. You claim the kingdom of heaven in a second. Until their intellects recognize the father, they will not understand. Here, there is no says or holy man, nor does anyone read from the Gita or any other scripture like the sages do. Gandhiji also used to read the Gita and he would then chant Sita Ram, the purifier. However, God spoke the Gita. If Krishna had been the sermonizer of the Gita, why would Ram and Sita be remembered? In fact, you are the Sitas and Ram is incorporeal God. All the devotees call out to God, O Ram, O God. Come and purify us, Sitas. Then they sing the praise of King Ram, the Lord of the Raghu clan. They just carry on with the things they hear. Why is the Gangas called the purifier? Many go there on the path of devotion. A Mela takes place there every year. They go and sit there. You sit in the ocean of knowledge, whereas they go and bath in the waters. However, no one becomes pure by doing that. They have continued to become impure. You are now on the path of knowledge, so you no longer go there. 
This is the true confluence because souls have been separated from the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul for a long period of time who became separated from the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul for a long period of time. It must have been those who existed in the golden age first and so God would definitely meet them first. They are the ones who will come first. You definitely have to study here. How would those who do not go to school listen to anything and how would they understand the deep points? Some say, we don't have time. The father says, this is a true income. The other ones are false. You are multi-millions. When it comes to all the others, even if people are millionaires or billionaires, at the moment it is false wealth. Even though the government takes loans from them, everything is false. Maya is false, the body is false and the whole world is false. The father explains, children, I make you very wealthy. Ravan has made you so unhappy. You now have to conquer Ravan. There is no question of a battle. You cannot become the masters of the world by fighting. You become the masters of the world through the power of yoga. The father teaches you yoga and this soul is also studying. The father enters this one and gives you knowledge. He says, I am beyond birth and rebirth. The father is the unlimited father and so he explains unlimited secrets. I tell you the things that Maya has been making you do. You came under the influence of the five evil spirits. So what has your state become? You were so wealthy by incurring useless expense on the path of devotion, which has become your state. Now, after devotion, God comes and gives the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, the Father has to come to grant salvation. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna Number 1. In order to become multi-millionaires, earn a true income. Don't make excuses and say that you don't have time to study. You must definitely study every day. Number two, stay in the unadulterated remembrance of the one father and make the soul Sado Pradhan. Mine is one Shri Baba and none other make this lesson firm. Blessing, may you become full of all attainments and content by being constantly immersed in the love for the one father. The father is not separate from the children who are constantly immersed in love for the one father. And they are not separate from the father. In return of their love of the father, they remain full of all attainments and content at every moment. This is how they are not attracted by any other type of support. Because souls who are immersed in love are full of all attainments, they easily experience belonging to the one father and another. For souls who are merged, the one father is their world. Slogan Stay in your self-respect, the most elevated pride, rather than chase after limited respect and honor. Stay in your self-respect, the most elevated pride, rather than chase after limited respect and honor. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti.